Callahan, back to FileFinder, and welcome back to part four of our special 10-part series on Irfan View. But today I'm going to show you the paint tool that comes with Irfan View. I've got an image loaded, and we'll click Edit, Show Paint Dialog. Now here's the paint dialog that comes up. Now bear in mind that the paint function of Irfan View isn't totally complex like Paint Shop Pro, but it certainly will let you get some things accomplished. You have the paintbrush that you use freehand to draw with. You have an eraser that you can click and you can go in and you can take out color. You can draw lines. You can draw arrows. So perhaps we want to draw an arrow pointing to the turtle. And there's an arrow. You can do circles and rectangles. So say we do a, a rectangle right here down below our arrow. Now we can also use the fill function. Here's our current foreground color so we'll click there and the little rectangle is filled now with that color. Another thing that you can do is straighten and rotate tool. So we'll click on that. I'll move in here, click and just put a line and now you see our picture has rotated. Here are the pen and brush settings dialog. I'll bring this in so you can see it. You can pick the kind of pen that you want. The end cap, the line joints. You can have your brush be solided, the line hatcheted. You can pick the color, the transparency. You can also pick some functions for the background. When you've settled on those things, click OK. Down here, you can also change the size of the width of the pen in pixels by increasing or decreasing. So, this is the basic paint function of Irfan View. You can do some neat things with it. If you want to save these changes, remember to say File. Save as and give it a new name. And that's all there is to it.